Socket wrench. Now it's not very handy. You don't have that much space around here, but put it in, and you can basically open it up. And as you notice, I've, I'm supporting the tool. The tool will, will, will want to drop. Okay. 
So this is the tool I've got in. I want to start with. This is the 164th antion. So teeny tiny little bit of tool. This is the tool. There's some junk on it. That we're going to use to cut the circuit board out. And these are the two tools that we use. We've got a bunch of these. Well, we've got a bunch of these. We don't have that much of these ones anymore. Uh, need to reorder them. Okay, one is 164, and what is the other one? 132. 132. 132. Okay. Yeah. So basically, 0 0.4 and 0 0.79. Mm -hmm. Round it off. How can you see which is what? The pick size. Okay. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start off. Oh, when you're putting a tool back, by the way. Make sure you hold it, because I mean it's a magnet, it's a neodymium magnet, nice and powerful, so it wants to be, the tool wants to come to it very quickly, uh, and come to a very sudden stop. So when you're putting the tool back on the, in the machine, on the, on the parking position, so to say, make sure you hold the tool by the cutter, then when it comes back to it, it doesn't knock the, knock the, uh, the milling bit off. So it will probably break a few, but... I would like to. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if we see if we see if we see if we don't break the tools because they are 15 bucks a pop. Mm -hmm. So not usually expensive, but a scarce resource, not nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So then I need to stand up a little bit to make this work properly. Take this and put it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, what to do? Place it all the way up, and um, I want to place it. You see on the tool, it's not this one. There's a darker area and a mm -hmm. light area. I want to place it so that the light area is almost almost everything is inside the collar. Then I'm for whatever move I'm going to do, I'm going to be mostly safe. Just a precaution not to uh, not to hit things. hear what we're telling about it. Um, mm. Okay, so I made sure that I've got it all the way up and um, it's set. Now for tightening it, just tighten it, don't don't over tighten it. Um, it just needs a little bit of tension and then it's, uh, it's good enough. So, once we've done that, set the tool quite high up. Once we set the tool quite high up, then um, we should be able to... Oh, we have to close the whole thing up again. Um, now, in this case, the circuit board is already on. Uh, on it, so we're just going to be using this uh, this circuit board. Mm -hmm. um, because they're oriented in this direction, so should, we should be able to get a couple of them out of here. Okay. Now, for this, we want to make sure that this is set. Um, uh, it's 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 yeah. pulled down properly. Yeah. So do check before you actually start cutting that everything is nice and flat on the. On here. Is that what you do with the double sided tape? Yeah, yes, yes. The okay. double sided tape sits underneath here. The double sided tape that we use for this is the white one, white one that's sitting around here. Yeah, this one. So this is the double, type, the double, double sided tape that we use. We also have uh, a yellow tape. Mm -hmm. The yellow tape is not, uh, it doesn't stick uh, good enough. This sticks a lot better. Okay. So I'm trying to keep this for the circuit board tape. Isn't it much thinner than the uh, yellow ones? I don't know. It seems to be a little bit thicker. Oh, okay. A bit, bit thicker and a little bit more sticky. Okay. So more glue. Yeah.
ओके So um, we close it. We close it up, and then it's going to be a matter of combining um, the cylinder to work with the um, to set the starting point. So x, y, and theta. Um, these are you can regard this as absolute coordinates. These are coordinates that are. You can always return to these. So that's why you need to set these on here. You can't prepare the file and save the file um, from home. You need to come here with your image, set the things up here. Um, so we can then say, okay, move to XY0. Now for the first move, it will run the tool. Starts moving machine. See, the only difference between this machine and that machine is that um, the setting, the setting of the starting point for the set, uh, for the, uh, the height of the tool, for the setup. That's the only thing that's different between. Them. Otherwise, they're just the same. Okay, that's 10. So you can see if we, if we would have had the tool a little bit further down, it would have, could have been a problem. Mm -hmm. It would have just run into it. There's no sensors on it, it doesn't know, uh, it will just try to go there. So now we can start changing these values here to match um, roughly a location. So we can see. This is probably more like. There it is. Mm -hmm. I've got a. I'm very bad at um, uh, calculating. Oops. Oh, are you so up? That can be a bit of a problem. When it's outside of the backspace, it does load the. Um, <laughs> 